Hey everybody, Captain Kimo here and today I'm going to show you how to process cars in HDR. And this photo here is the photo I'm going to show you how to produce. And I produced this photo using three exposures. I'll show you the exposure here. This is my original exposure shot at a zero EV and the next exposure here is shot uh, two stops under for the highlights here in the sky and then I shot uh, for the detail in the foreground uh, two, two stops up. Alright so let's go ahead and get started processing the photo. I'm going to start off by merging the uh, three exposures together in Photomatix. So I'm going to go ahead and open Photomatix and then I'm going to drag and drop the uh, three exposures here. I'm going to go to the original exposures and I'm going to select these three exposures and just drag it and drop it into the Photomatix window. I'm going to hit OK here for merge for HDR and then I'm going to hit OK again and then we're gonna just not worry about any of these settings reduce noise I always do that reduce chromatic aberration always I always do that and I leave the white balance as is and we'll just hit OK okay so we are in Photomatix now in the uh, tone mapping window and I have a default selected now what I like to do with uh, car photos especially with my HDR is I like to really uh, make it dynamic make it intense something like uh, any of the uh, painterly effects this painterly preset down here or painterly 2 um, let's just try painterly 3 and that looks okay but 2 was looking a little better I like the colors in 2 so let's go ahead and start with uh, painterly 2 now I'm gonna leave uh, strength at 100% like I said I want everything uh, very dynamic so I'll leave it 100% for that and then I'm just gonna boost the color all the way up Luminosity will leave at 10, a detail contrast will leave at 10, and then the lighting adjustment will uh, leave lighting effects checked and uh, medium selected. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to probably want to bring down the white point a little bit and then maybe bring the black point up some. And now bring uh, gamma down a little just to get the contrast and that's looking good I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe move the smoothing up a notch maybe up to about three and that that's pretty much it that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and save this preset and have it available for you just look down at the description there on YouTube um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it as cars and I already have another car preset saved so we're just gonna replace that and then just hit the process button and we'll get started. We'll take this into Photoshop and I'll show you how to process the rest of the photo in that program. Okay, so here is Photoshop and we have the HDR image of our car open here in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and the first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and duplicate this um, layer here. So I'll duplicate it. I'm going to zoom in here and so you can get a better uh, look at what I'm going to do and I'm going to denoise this photo first. I'm going to go ahead and go into filters, Topaz Labs and go into denoise. Okay so once I have my denoise window open I'm just going to hit the JPEG strong here and then it will uh, remove some of the noise here in our car image from uh, the HDR processing so this is the original and then this will be the uh, what denoise is going to do. Now you might not be able to see it too well in uh, this video but uh, it does remove a lot of the noise. So once I do that I'm gonna hit OK. Alright so when Topaz denoise is finished denoising the photo I'm going to sharpen the image. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit here um, right about here and this is where I'm going to sharpen the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into filters into sharpen and unsharpen mask and then we're just going to unsharpen it with the settings here. Um, right about 140 and about 2 was good so let's go ahead and do about 2.4 that's good let's go ahead and hit OK so again you're probably not going to be able to see it too well but this is the before and then this is the after so we denoise and unsharpen the photo so we get a much smoother and crisper image so let's go ahead and uh, zoom out and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer and what we're going to do is we're going to actually we're going to mask the car and I'm going to do this because I want to just isolate the car um, from the background so we can adjust the two separately the quickest way for us to create a mask is to use Topaz Remask for this particular uh, photo so I'm going to go ahead and go into filters 
into Topaz and then we're gonna go into Topaz Remask okay so now that I have the uh, Remask window open I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in real fast so we can uh, get a better look at the uh, the mask that we're gonna create here and I'm going to use the uh, compute brush and we're just gonna create a blue outline around the car so I'm gonna hold shift and just click around the car this is not going to be a perfect mask so I'm just gonna go do it really really fast here and for here I'm not gonna worry about that spoiler in the back I'm just gonna go ahead and go around the car and then once we get our mask we can edit the car separately from the background the contrast and stuff like that curves so we'll do that once we create our mask and we're almost done so let's go ahead and connect that and that is the uh, mask here all we need to do next is use the uh, bucket tool here the red bucket tool down here and click on the outside of the car and this will tell Topaz Remask that we don't want this uh, part of the image um, we hit compute and Topaz Remask will compute the uh, that red part with the blue part here so let's go ahead and go to the keep and this is what Topaz Remask is going to keep just the car area now there's some area here that we can fine tune go ahead and zoom in some more there and then um, just use the uh, the red paintbrush here and just kinda just dab around the uh, this area here and looks good I'm not, again I'm not gonna be perfect so that looks good let's go ahead and zoom out and let's go ahead and go with that and hit OK and then if I close the other layers here we'll you can see the uh, the mask that I created here that's the mask of our car so we can just adjust the uh, car separately from the uh, background so let's go ahead and um, go back to the uh, background layer here this uh, and we're gonna run Topaz adjust there to uh, to create a more dynamic uh, look for the background so let me go ahead and zoom out a little maybe zoom in a tad that looks about good so uh, let's go ahead and run Topaz adjust now this is only gonna affect the background not the car because the car is on this layer here so let's go ahead and go into uh, Topaz remat or Topaz adjust All right, so I ended up selecting the uh, the car layer instead of the background layer. So let's go ahead and uh, just use Topaz Adjust on the car layer. So let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom in a little here just to kind of get a better a better view of the uh, car. So let's go ahead and zoom in right about there. And then let's go ahead and go into Classic, and we will let's go ahead and play. We will play with the. Uh, the cool, the cool looks good. Um, this is before and then this is after. Let's go into the uh, global settings, into our adaptive exposure, and then bring the adaptive exposure up some, and then bring contrast. Maybe bring it up or okay, we're gonna bring it up just to give it some nice contrast. Let's see if I want it brighter or brighter looks good and then we're gonna close this and then I'm gonna go into detail and this is where we're gonna just boost our detail in the car some and that, that looks good let's see the uh, this is before and then this is after so we have a more more dynamic car and um, don't worry about this this is not gonna show up in the uh, the photo once we get done uh, processing everything so now let's go ahead and hit the OK button okay so here is the uh, photo with Topaz adjust affecting just the car layer so this is the uh, the after and then this or this is that was before and then this is after it's a little more uh, um, aggressive the uh, that adjust really kind of brought out a lot of the uh, contrast in the uh, car so let's go ahead and adjust this the background so I'm gonna go ahead and click that layer there in the background I'm gonna go and use uh, Topaz adjust for that again so let's go ahead and go to Topaz adjust okay so now we're just gonna run Topaz adjust for the background so we don't need to worry about the car let's go ahead and go to classic and I believe let's go play with some of the uh, settings here I, I like the let's see the warm looks a lot nicer especially for the background so then we're just gonna play around with the just either that adaptive exposure I'm not gonna spend too much time here I'm just gonna 
I bring down the contrast and that helps to bring out the color some especially in the uh, the horizon here where the uh, the reds are in the sky or in the clouds okay so that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay with that so before we do that this is before and then this is after maybe let's bring some of the contrast up a little bit okay so before and after so let's go ahead and hit okay okay so Topaz just just got done processing the uh, background here so if I click on the eyeball tool here this will hide that so that was before and then this is after a little nicer on the uh, the background so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at where we uh, started from here this is so if we go back here this is uh, our original here the original HDR image and then this is the uh, the uh, almost the final product uh, the last thing I do and this is for my uh, my HDR images and I add a little drop shadow into the car and this is why I mask the car too so it makes it easier to add that little drop shadow so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and do that there so let's go ahead and click on the uh, just click on the layer and then you'll have a styles window that will pop up and then I'll select the uh, drop shadow here and then we can play around with the uh, just click on that and then uh, our drop shadow option will come out you can see a little drop shadow here and then I'm just gonna play around with the, uh, the settings on it oh that's a little too much a little too much again So right about there it looks good. So I said okay. And then you can see here this is the before and then the, or this is the um without the drop shadow and then I add a little drop shadow to the image to kind of make the car pop out of the photo. Uh, so uh, with that let's go ahead and zoom out just to see our uh, photo here and uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, just for some some minor tweaks I'm just going to uh, add a a curves layer here just to play around with the curves here so I'm going to go ahead and add a, a new adjustment layer of curves and I'm going to hit the uh, use previous layer button hit OK and this will give me an arrow which means right here this little arrow which means it's just going to affect that layer so let's go ahead and just play around with this this is just going to be the background layer so we're we're just adjusting the background layer here so I'm going to adjust it for contrast and color tones alright so that looks alright looks good so I'm just going to bring this down a little bit almost done alright so that looks good this is before and this is after it gives it a little bit of a, a different a unique tone to the image and then we're going to go ahead and play around with the curves for the car so I'm going to go ahead and do that and go to layers new adjustment layer and curves and we're going to do the same thing and use the previous layer and now we're just going to play with the uh, the curves for just the car bring up the uh, contrast a little more there and I'm not I don't think I'm gonna play around with the, uh, the separate channels here okay so that that looks hurt. that looks good so I'm gonna leave it like that and the photo looks pretty good now so let's go ahead and zoom in a little here so that is our image here and so this this here will be the uh, oh so we'll have the uh, the before here this is the before and then this is the after all right so let's go ahead and do a quick recap of what we just did and we'll call it a day okay so here is our original photo um, and then we have our underexposed image and we have our overexposed image and we took those three images and we merged them together in Photomatix to create this uh, HDR photo 
And then we took the HDR photo here, we took it into Photoshop, used a bunch of Topaz plugins, and we created something a little more illustrative, a little more uh, stylized. Okay, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit my website, CaptainKemo.com, for more information about the uh, software that I use, Topaz and Photomatics. I have coupon codes available on my website and download links. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, until next time, this is Captain Kimo signing out.